congratulations on the first league win of the season and your goal. I'll start with asking you, is it your goal you were the one who ran off? Oh yeah, the, the linesman flagged, so that's good enough for me. Um, there was a bit of banter in the changing room, Andy's trying to claim it and that's why he scored so many goals with obviously his desire to get in there and finish things off, but it's definitely my goal, yeah. You're taking that one, well you'll be pleased to know the official club accounts have credited as your goal, oh, so we'll good. leave it at that yeah. for now. Um, let's get into the performance, tough conditions out there today, wasn't it? But yeah. you managed it really well and you've come away with a win, how do you assess it? Um, I, f I feel today showed what we've been working on during the week, even Tuesday. Um, we, we've put a lot of hard work in on the training ground since the Barrow defeat and it's finally shown, I think, and the fans can see that. Um, the conditions were, were really tough and I feel like we managed them well. We moved the ball quick, um, we made them do the running and it, it seemed to tire them out. But even, even before they got the man sent off, I felt like we were, we were well and truly on top. Yeah, and they did give you a game as well. It, it's not like when Doncaster came here and they went down to 10 and they yeah. shut up sharp holding on to that nil-nil. They did really make a game of it, so credit to them. But to come out on top and carry that momentum on from Hull must be really satisfying. Yeah, it is, but it shows the demands from the gaffer when we come in after the game and he's not happy with the second half. Um, we took our foot off, off the gas, really. Obviously, the, the weather didn't help, but we've got to be more ruthless in that. And when, when, um, when teams are struggling, we've got to put them to the sword and we've got to have that clinical edge. Yeah, he mentioned that to us about hoping for a little bit more. What, what did he say to you? What did he pick out in particular that he wanted to see? He just wanted, wanted more, more attack and play. Um, we, we kept the ball really well. We got to be a bit more patient. Everything got a bit rushed um, about the 60th minute and um, we, we calmed it down again towards the end and, and we played so, so much better football and I think that's what he was disappointed with, just the, the rushing of, of our play and when there's no real risk um, and we, we could just keep moving the ball and, and tiring them out and then the gaps will open um, and that's what he has worked on and that's what we, we've been trying to implement into, like, into the team. Um, I think first half we've done it really well, start of the second half we've done it quite well and, and we just had that little blip but um, yeah, I, I feel the conditions didn't help in that and sometimes we just got to slow it down and, and take our time really. We've just been discussing on air the, the use of Brad and Liam on either full-backs. How have you found as an attacking player playing with them? Because you see Romney and Matty playing it out from the back and then when they kind of let Brad and Liam loose, they get forward, bring it over halfway. Have you found it really useful as an attacking player, having those attacking full-backs in your side? Yeah, definitely. I think it, it helps massively when the opposition's play five at the back, because we have our wingers pinging their wing-backs back, so our full-backs are the, the extra men, whereas if we come up against a four, say a 4-4-2, four, four, then me, Richie and Gilly will be the overload in the midfield, so it's just getting the balance of different different opposition and who we're playing against to, to find the overload. Does it feel, obviously, a lot of new faces over some of you, what, yourself included, does it feel like you are slowly starting to see that gelling coming together? Yeah, um, I've had quite a slow start of the season. Um, I admit my performance at Barrow wasn't great, but um, I did have a stop-start pre-season with me having COVID and, and stuff like that, so um, I feel like I'm getting back to me best now and I'm feeling fitter and stronger every, every game and every training session. And on to Colchester, they're coming thick and fast, but I guess this stage of the season, as we said, players still gelling. You may be trying to get up a little bit more sharpness there. It's a good thing that it's just around the corner. Yeah, definitely. Um, I prefer when the game is thick and, th thick and fast. Um, another tough challenge Tuesday. Um, we've got to go there with the right mindset and, and hopefully get another three points.